uh, what the fuck happened to the workspace toolbar in Premiere Pro 2022? Internet, welcome back. It's Robert Teagarden here again with the Teagarden Quick Tip Tutorial. Just a tip, just enough to see if it feels good. Today, I figured out what everyone's question has been. If you've upgraded to the new Adobe Premiere Pro 2022 edition from April of 2022, your workspace's toolbar that used to sit at the top of the, uh, the program there, it's gone and they didn't give you any explanation in terms of where it was. And so you're stuck either like using that scroll bar thing that is just like, so irritating because it always ends up moving or you're trying to figure out exactly how to do that with quick keys which is a nightmare i hate this i, I hated it so much i figured out how to fix it and i'm going to show you how to do it too let's jump on in from here i'll show you exactly what's going on so as you'll see up here i don't have a toolbar usually as i showed earlier you'd have some version of clickable workspaces up here uh, now the only option is you go into workspaces and you have to do this whole thing which like I always miss and I always like end up having to like re toolbar my thing. Uh, and as you can see, like I have a pretty decent number of workspaces, particularly my own and switching back and forth between color and this is a pretty far shot. So what I figured out after some Googling is that if you go to this little icon over here in the upper right hand corner of the screen, it's always the upper right hand corner. I don't know why. I mean, I guess I know why, because the menu bar is in the upper left-hand corner. So it's the upper right-hand corner of the screen. You can click on this bad boy and you'll see all of the different workspaces that you have available to you. Pretty nifty, but that still doesn't solve my problem. I got to click and do a whole bunch of dragging and all that nonsense too. So what we're looking for here is show workspace tabs. Click on that and like magic, it appears again in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, you can actually drag this guy out to fit where we need it to fit, which is pretty nifty. I'm pretty sure you can drag it to other places as well. And if you needed to kind of like move things around, you can click and drag all the different workspaces, kind of like one of those stock ticker things on the newspaper. You guys know what I'm talking about. But uh, I have way too many of these things being shown, hence the fact that I have to scroll through all of them. And they've added a couple of workspaces too. So I figured out how to condense this list Watch me again, click in the, of course, upper right hand corner, and we can go to edit workspaces down here. Now what you'll see in this menu section is all of the ones that are viewable do not show, and you can click and drag all of the ones that you don't want to see uh, visible inside of your main workspace area. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and dial my settings in and get them all proper. And then I'm gonna say what I usually say in the beginning of the video, but I got so anxious getting this information out to you guys that I totally foobarred and forgot what that was all about. So if you liked the video, like the damn video. If you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe and join the Tea Garden community. I post video content on a weekly basis on filmmaking tips and the business of being a creative, particularly in the Adobe suite. So if this is something that you found useful or of value, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for posting notifications. If you would like to share this content with somebody you think that might find it valuable, I'm not going to stop you. And with that in mind, ladies and germs, this is another Tea Garden video in the can. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. TTFN. Peace.